Okay, I'm back. Oh, yeah. Are you back? Do you have a minute? Yes, yes I do. I was just having to, somebody was leaving. Oh, okay. I don't want to interrupt or anything. Oh, no, that's okay. Okay. We're just finishing up a study. Oh, okay. Well, um, I was really curious about a certain um, Jehovah's Witness video I saw. Um yeah. You know how they make a lot of videos now? I guess this one is from the convention, so I don't know if you've seen it yet. Oh, yes, I've seen Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it was, I think, the, on Fridays, um, and it was called How You Can By No Means Ever Fail, talk number okay. 20. Okay, are you talking about the convention that's going on right now? Yeah. Okay, now I will not have seen this one because our convention comes up in August. Oh, not till so August. I have not seen this yet. Okay, go ahead though. Okay, well, um, what it was about was a guy was talking, a young guy was talking to his grandfather about what happened in 1975. And uh-huh. um, the video portrays it like totally the opposite of what really happened. Which is easy to find in their, in the Watchtower writings and publications and talks that you can hear. You can mm-hmm. hear some of the talks which were given. You, you can hear what they were saying. Yeah. Um, like for one example, um, he, he was kind of making fun of people, like as though they were fanatics that sold their homes and businesses and things. Uh-huh. Because okay, of 1975, who, who was, the guy in the, the, fun? uh, well, the guy in the video, he was painting the them. Grandfather or the yeah, kid? the grandfather. He was just painting the them as fanatics. And, um, okay. the thing is, though, that in their publications, they set, said, uh, they told about people doing that and, um, they commended them for doing it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So it, why does okay. it, it spins it completely differently? Well, the reason why I can relate to that is mm-hmm. because that's exactly when I was studying the Bible back mm-hmm. in 1975. Mm-hmm. And there was nothing like at the meetings that told anybody to go out and sell their belongings or anything like that. It well, in the it. kingdom ministry, it says that um, certainly this is a fine way to spend a short time remaining before the wicked world's end. Uh huh. Yeah. Which one is that? Uh, May 1974, page three. Okay. It's called "How okay. How Are You Using Your Life?" And there was numerous other articles that said the same thing. Um, yeah. The end will come before all the 1914 generation will pass away. You must. Um, Use your time. The time is very short. Yeah. We can be sure that 1975 will see the most critical time ever known in the article. What will 19? What will the 70s bring? Yeah, and we see that time has gone on even longer. I mean, longer than anybody expected. Nobody expected we'd be in 19. 19- 2007. Right, because the 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 Watchtower publications were were predicting that. Um, they quoted a man who said the world would be too dangerous to live in by 1975. Yeah. Many have really, decided not to have children because the yeah, end is lot, so close, so they can yeah. spend time preaching. Yeah, and a lot of people did decide not to have children. Yeah, I because they said, <laughs> yeah, oh, pr- good, <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> it would be really sad. Yes, because their writings are considered meat and due season from Jehovah, um, mm-hmm. not just suggestions, you know. So my pro- my shock by the video is that it uh, was very misleading uh, as to their history, mm. which they kind of have a history of rewriting their history also. They do this about 1914 as well, um, mm-hmm. saying that it was some kind of proof when actually it was an epic fail of, of everything Russell predicted. They don't mention his actual predictions. They just use the phrase, mm-hmm. the end of the Gentile times, but they don't yeah. tell you what he meant by that. Yeah, but there's also, you know, the light keeps getting brighter and yeah. brighter. And yeah, it's no, that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about saying your history is different than it really was, which mm-hmm. was is like lying, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, are you associated with Jehovah's Witnesses in some way? No, no, I have some friends in the organization, so I'm always very concerned 
um, you know, uh, um, you it's, the Bible to... says to test all things and hold fast to what mm-hmm. is good. So I'm just kind yeah. of testing it a little bit. And I was very, I'm very familiar with the history because I was interested in the history of the Millerite movement. And I read several long books, original sources, and saw how Russell basically studied with, with leftover people from that failure. You know, it's, those were his main mentors, um, from the mm-hmm. Millerite movement. But, um, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm in total uh, amazement that uh, they portrayed it okay. that way. You yeah. know. Well, the only thing I can I can say is, from what I have experienced, is nothing but a good experience, and uh, I look forward to the future with a wonderful hope. Uh, this world is going down, is all I know, and yeah, apply Bible principles in your life. You're going to be a better person, that's for sure. And a happier person. So it's, it's okay to make false prophecies like that? Uh, I, like I said, I haven't even been to hear it yet. And, mm-hmm. uh, I can't really comment on that. Mm-hmm. But I can, uh, give you a number. Oh, great. And you can talk to a brother. Hang on, let me get you. Does, does he know a lot about, about it? Oh, yeah. Uh, um, a great website that talks about Bible stuff is called forjehovah.org with the number four. And check out Deuteronomy 18, 20 through 22. And um, they have called themselves prophets. So that does apply. Talks about people that say something will happen, that, that God said this, which they have done also. And it doesn't happen. So Deuteronomy okay. 18, 20 through 22, their writings don't really refer to it. But um, it's great, great verses. Hey, thanks okay, for talking to me about it. it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, God bless Bye-bye. you.